second stage in the Ride London Classic takes us to Malden, a quiet fisherman's town just east of London, where riders prepare themselves for the stage in their own specific way. The weather and atmosphere is good, knowing there's another hard, windy up and down stage coming up. Yeah, it's very technical, there's, there's no doubt about it, it's a different feel. Um, and you can feel it in the peloton that it's a little bit more nervous. Um, but that's also part of bike racing. It's about being able to handle your bike and handle those pressures and kind of the claustrophobic feel of the races because there's hedges everywhere. <laughs> so everything is very enclosed, um, but it's just different. I think with the wind, it's hard. Uh, in the UK, they say more times that it's a lot of wind and then nothing real happen. Um, for sure, we have to be sharp, but we have to be sharp in the UK every day because it's really cornering, narrow, wide, it changes a lot. Um, so we have to be sharp, but you never know in the UK. When the peloton starts their 133 kilometer stage, instantly we have one lone rider who breaks from the peloton. April Tacy of Team Life Plus Wahoo gets two minutes and is enjoying the attention the British rider gets riding through the fan-filled villages and towns. The peloton follow through the windy up and down roads, confined with hedges and up their pace to get the gap down. And with 65 kilometers to go, she's back in the bunch. Then an attack by Anna Henderson, who did the same thing last year and tries to break clear of the peloton, but the controlling work of Canyon SRAM prevents her efforts. But why? Well, they have a plan. With a little under 15 kilometers to go to the finish line, Maike van der Duin attacks. She is leading and has a group of roughly 30 riders behind her. She is going in full time trial mode and hopes she will stay out of the claws of the group who rides hard with Team DSM at the helm to get her back. The gap is slowly coming down, but will it be enough for the Dutch woman? But within the final kilometer she is caught by a thinned out chasing group. But in this group are still two Kenyan SRAM riders. Soraya Paladin is pulling hard in front of this group, piloting Chloe Deigert to the front with Lizzie Deigner right on her wheel. Into the final corner and Deigert is still in the lead, extending it, powers through and Chloe Deigert wins the second stage of Ride London Classic. It really worked out well. The other teams had to chase down Micah and our team, so it, it was really perfect setting up Soraya and I for that final climb. And um, it looked like Cool had a crash, so she wasn't there for it. But um, you know, it, it really worked out well. Soraya let in really good, and um, I was just able to go around and then pull off the win. So we worked very well together. You know, just trying to come in as a team and then try to pull it off, and so just try to forget about the pain until after. Chloe Deigert wins stage two of the Ride London Classic. Lizzie Deignan finishes second and Soraya Paladin third. Anna Henderson is fourth. Despite a crash in the final kilometers and losing some time, Charlotte Cole remains leader in the general classification. Lizzie Deignan is second, five seconds behind the Dutch rider. With her win, Chloe Deigert moved up to third and needs 10 seconds to win tomorrow on the third and final stage.